the guitar. Even though your favorite music group has been making new sounds with it, the instrument itself has been around since the 16th century. And in all that time, no one knew exactly why a guitar sounded like a guitar. Now, to make a sound, something has to vibrate. In this case, strings. But lots of instruments have strings, and they don't sound like a guitar. To find out why a guitar sounds like a guitar, scientists at Pennsylvania State University invented a new process called near-field acoustical holography. A grid of wires is suspended above the floor over a guitar. Hanging from the grid are 256 sensitive microphones like this one. The room itself is designed like a sound studio. Its walls, floor, and ceiling are covered with special materials to absorb sound. Dr. Julian Maynard makes final adjustments on the guitar. He invented this new system along with Dr. Earl Williams. The guitar is sitting on a platform a few inches under the microphones. Further adjustments can be made by remote control. As this motor turns, it turns the shaft, which moves all the microphones in relation to the guitar. A special device starts one of the strings vibrating, producing a typical guitar sound. The sound goes out in all directions, so the more microphones pick it up, the more information is recorded on which direction the sound came from. The signals from all the microphones go into this console. The Penn State scientists developed a computer program that displays how much sound was received by each of the 256 microphones. The map shows that most of the sound comes from the opening under the strings. Sound also came from a section near the bridge. Some also came from the neck, a finding that was somewhat unexpected. This work also led to the discovery that the back of the guitar acts something like a bellows to push the sound out through the opening. Near-field acoustic holography can be used to map other instruments to learn how to design them for more efficient sound production. The sounds of machines, even car engines, can be mapped to locate where the engine noise comes from. The result could be quieter engines. So after more than 500 years of use, scientists now know why a guitar sounds like a guitar because they've mapped its sounds.